MMA Madness sitting down with a uh, new Extreme Couture striking coach, Muay Thai coach, Sean Tompkins. How are you doing today, Sean? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. Well, uh, let's talk about your move from, um, you know, London, Ontario to Extreme Couture. Um, what made you do that? Um, what, what, for, uh, what was in your plans to do that? Well, a lot, of, a lot of the reason I came out here is because when we're, when we're fighting in Vegas, we've always used Extreme Couture as a training center. Right. Uh, and over the years, Randy and I have developed a really good relationship, working relationship together. Um, and a lot of the guys that I train in Vegas, like the LA Anacondas, uh, you know, Kendall Grove, Gray Maynard, guys like that, John Alessio, they're already out here. So it just made, made perfect sense for me to come out here and make the move, the transition, and, you know, with the way Randy's career is going, just uh, to be out here and be stable for him because he needs a, st you know, a stable coach. Right. Have you been helping Randy with his striking for the gay fight, obviously? Absolutely. You know, all around, not just striking, but, uh, you know, working on his all around game plan and uh, helping him prepare for this fight. What do you feel? Uh, what do you think about Randy Couture? When you think of Randy Couture, what comes to mind? Well, I mean, obviously everybody knows he's a legend, you know, and he's a legend for, for a reason. So um, when it comes to this fight, what I think of is, you know, there's no aspect of this fight that he can lose. You know, he's he's well, become more well rounded than he ever was before in the past. And uh, just the fact that he's such an open minded guy, it's made my job so easy. And so down to earth. Oh, he's an amazing guy. Yeah. Um, what do you visualize happening on Saturday with the main event? Well, I think, uh, I mean, in, in my eyes, I can't see it going past the third round. Um, Gonzaga is good. He's tough. We know that. There's some th real good strengths he has. Um, he's a big dude, and when he gets people on the ground, he can hurt them with his elbows. Uh, so neutralizing his game for, you know, the first two rounds and then really starting to pick up the pace. I don't think he can handle, in fact, no, I know he can't handle Randy's pace. Um, Randy's had the best training camp I've ever been involved in in my whole life, and I've been involved in a lot of them. So um, I just can't see Gonzaga hanging in there after the third, and I think he's just going to be beat more down after the second two rounds, the first two rounds, and uh, in the third he's going to fall asleep. Interesting. So uh, how do you feel about Extreme Couture? I mean, it's kind of like this new metropolis of an MMA gym. I mean, I've seen the pictures on the Internet. It's absolutely insane. Um, you know, how, how cool is it to be over Extreme there? Extreme Couture is the best training center in the world, bar none. You know, and uh, I'm glad to be there because the best fighters in the world are there. And that's what I'm, you know, I, I've been running my own gym in Canada since I was 18 years old. And, you know, I love it, but it was time for me to, to move on to bigger things. And things that I really wanted to do was work with the elite fighters of the world. You know, Randy Couture, Kendall Grove, guys like that are the elite. So it's the place to be. Not to mention, it's, you know, it's got everything a fighter could ever ask for. Right, and a lot of your guys we talked about from London came down with you. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the Team Tompkins boys will always be Team Tompkins. It doesn't matter where I go, they come, and, you know, that, that's going to show their dominance. Now, I mean, what better marriage than to be with the Extreme Couture guys? I mean, the striking that we have, along with the grappling that they have, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's become kind of like a, I'm not going to say like a free agent gym, but everyone's just seemed to, uh, you know, converge on that one gym for right. this past year. It's getting to the point that we're, we're kind of picking and choosing now. You know, we've got our guys, we've got our team, and it's really become a strong family. So um, it's nice to have those, those other people come in and stuff, but we do really have a good nucleus right now. And, of course, it all revolves around Randy Couture. And what better person could you revolve the nucleus around? Great role model, no doubt about it. Um, who are some guys at Extreme Couture that we may not know about that we should be on the lookout for? Well, I mean, some of the guys that I, I think are deserving more credit than they, than they should be getting, you know, guys like Jay Haran, uh, Mike Pyle for sure should be getting a lot more attention. I, th I mean, I see this guy on the floor every day, and he's just a dominating force. You know, one of my boys that trains out here now, Chris Clements, who just uh, took, took the place of Jay Haran in the IFL for, for one fight. I mean, this kid is dominating. He's, you know, he's going to be on top in no time. You know, Kendall Grove's got a whole Hawaiian team at Extreme Couture right now. These guys are amazing. So they, we've got a team of probably about 10 to 12 guys that nobody's heard of that are ready to break on the scene and become champions in the next three years. Yeah, the Kendall's pulling a lot of weight now. He's been each fight improving, you know, vastly. How do you, what do you see in his future? Well, I mean, Kendall's a dominating force. It just was a matter of having him have some true guidance. Um, he's always, always had the tools. He just didn't know when to use them or how to use them. So... Um, I really see this fight being one of those ones where people are going to sit back and say, wow, where did this kid come from? And what, you know, what has he done to, to get this good? So uh, Patrick Cote is in for a world of trouble, and I know Patrick well. He's a tough dude, but Kendall is just a dominating force right now. Well, we got the time. Let's talk about, uh, you know, probably in my opinion, not to be biased, but the, the best fighter coming out of London, Chris Horodesky. How is he feeling? And, um, you know, you found him at a young age. Right. And... Uh, 
you know, just talk about how cool he is. And, you know, I mean, not, not, I mean, he's just so cool under pressure. I mean, at 19 years old, beating up people twice his age, and he stays so composed. Well, I started working with, with Chris probably when he was about 13, 14 years old. So he's, he's really like a son and a brother at the same time. Yeah, you were, you were putting him in fights real early, right? Real early, like uh, lying about his age, putting him in fights, and no fear. He was knocking out 25-year-old uh, kickboxing champions when he was 14 years old. Um, so to get in the ring or the cage right now, he, it doesn't bother him a bit. I mean, he, he doesn't even think twice about it. He truly is one of those guys that, that doesn't get nervous. He, he just loves to fight. He wants to fight people. So, and the beauty of him is he's just, even though he has that, that, that comfortableness in the ring, when he trains, he's always wanting to learn more things. He'll never cap out. He knows that there's always room to improve. So, I mean, the, the future for him is, is, is huge. It's bright. And uh, I think he is, um, what I always tell people, a promoter's dream. Because he doesn't just know how to fight, but he sure does know how to smile. And that's my biggest thing is, I mean, the IFO's great, um, but I just think the things he could do in a bigger organization. What do you see the future holding for Chris? Well, Can you uh, talk again, about you that? Know, let's, let's remember, guys like him, I mean, he's 19. You know, Sam Stout's 22. Mark Coleman's 24. People, they've been around for a long time, but they're still just babies in the sport. You know, right. They're babies right now. So, you know, they, I'm taking them at the right pace, and especially Chris. You know, he's 13-0, and 0, undefeated fighter. Uh, in kickboxing and Muay Thai fights, he was something like 22 and 2, you know, so he's already got a lot of fights be behind him, and he's winning, and that's what we got to do. Um, the future hit for him, I mean, I, I just, it's endless. We get calls every day for that kid. All right, well, what's the future hold for Sean Tompkins? Well, right now, it's Extreme Couture, it's Las Vegas, and it's winning, winning, winning. That's what I want. Mean. All right, well, do you have anyone you want to thank before we get going? Uh, I'd just like to thank Affliction. Um, they've taken real good care of me and all my fighters. Um, and, of course, Extreme Couture, Kim and Randy Couture, without them I couldn't be here. All right, well, thanks a lot. Thank you.